you could have that scene is like it's like you're there every damn panel. Let's hear it for the, the Birdman. <laughs>
have the most fun at the at, in the autograph line and meeting my fans, and a lot of them are friends that I've seen over and over again, and that's one of the coolest parts is that even though they have my autograph, it's really good now. It's not a fan; um, it, it's actually just a friendship now, and it's really cool to have that experience. This is the only kind of place where everybody is so happy to be here. No one's upset to be here. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's loving. People will help each other. It's like a I, I'm a nerd too, and I, I like that we can all celebrate, you know, being nerds together. I, I would have to say for me it was the orgy on the fifth floor. Because we were smoking. No, um, no, 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 the uh, I had I had it a moment ago. Oh, last night uh, across the way at the Marriott, uh, after swimming in their pool and peeing in it, I <laughs> come on that bathroom. So I have to the pool, that's not disgusting. Uh, so I come down to the, their restaurant there, and I thought, you know, I'm alone, it's late at night, it's like, like 11 o'clock or something, and all of a sudden I stumble along two lovely ladies at the other table who recognize me, and so, are they here? You know who you are, why don't you take a picture of me? Naked. No. Uh, wow. Well, screw them, that wasn't memorable. Uh, it was very memorable. It was a photographer, we talked about their lives and all of that, and uh, it just was like we were hanging out like friends. It was very nice. And uh, yeah, and she's like a professional photographer, took my picture. And then and then I said, you'll tweet it to me. She's like, yeah. And then later I go, she tweeted at me, and I go, where's my picture? And she's like, you're third in line, I have clients, you know. Oh! If I were Dante, no. it would be different. <laughs> If you guys came to my panel yesterday, I did sign a girl's breast. Yes! Yeah. 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 I was there. Yeah. 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 And it was a nice breast. Well, Dante, I signed a guy's penis. We are not going to one up this season, are we? Yo, question. 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 Can I take somebody? I have a very big signature, by the way. <laughs> Oh, oh, now I feel bad, man. Wow, you threw us on the wrong side of the tracks. 
<laughs> but you know, it's funny. You, uh, uh, you think, talk about LA and irrational fears. Um, I mean, my big one is like living a, a meaningless life, which is irrational because ultimately there's meaning in everything you do. I just want or no to, meaning. Right, right. Or no Either meaning, or. but it's okay. That's the but point. It's all, it's, all, it's all good. But uh, <laughs> what's funny is when I first moved to LA when you were a child, <laughs> the, uh, I was there too. Wait, I mean, wait, 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 but I'll tell you, you're going to remember this. Remember the uh, 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 Richard Ramirez, the, um, the oh nice my soccer, goodness. Nice soccer walk and killer. He was, what, he used, he, for like a month or a couple months, in, in like, like one point in LA in like 80, oh my God, I'm really old, 86, 85, 86. Yeah, and, I was uh, born in 86. He, well, my cousin was in the blue. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so, so anyway, my fear was is, is that is that you know because I lived um, in the back of, a, of an old couple's house in Koreatown is that one and I used to leave the door open during the summer because it was so hot and you know the breeze come in and all that and uh, but then every night I would eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's before I went to bed and then I would have these kids you know? watching the news. Yes, you know. And then I would have like the craziest freaking dreams like 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 you know where the sugar makes you go shh, you wake up you go <laughs> anyway, well one night i go to sleep and all of a sudden i have this into this this dream of fear that somebody's walking up the steps and the door is open coming in and i wake up and i'm laying there frozen in bed and i just know that somebody's out there it's richard ramirez the walking killer is about to come and i got i can't get out of bed i finally get out of bed i shut the door and i lock it and then i sit there and the next morning on the news the uh, the walking killer has struck again Yes. Oh, was I Jesus. psychic or did I have too much sugar? Question. Right here in the aisle, the white shirt. Brittany, do you think Black Star can outlast Western zombie army? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's your biggest star in the mall. You can take his yeah. fork and you can put it where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry. I, no, but it, I'll, I'll, I just remember that, oh, that's what it was. Okay, it was in um, uh, this last cut that I did. So we will remain nameless because it's a competition. Uh, and, uh, but it was like, a, it was the first day, that, it, the con hadn't even begun yet. And so I was at the hotel bar, there was nobody in costumes or anything, and, and I was meeting a friend, we had a drink and all of that, and then it was late, I was gonna go up. So I get to the elevator, and just as the elevator's closing, this guy slips in with his drink, he's like, hey, hey, hey. Is your manager here? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Yeah, I've been talking to your manager. I'm like, okay. Uh, no, he's not here. He's like, uh-huh. Yeah. You DC does this, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I'm really like, and in this moment, I'm like, do you now know what floor I'm getting off at? <laughs> you, gotta get up on a, you gotta get up on a different floor. Well, what, yeah, it's like, I got off slowly, and I said he's gonna be here tomorrow, and he's like, okay, okay. And he's like, sort of stepping off the elevator, and so I just stood there so that he didn't have to walk any further, and then he stepped back, the door shut, he's like, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> and I have security around. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell my crazy story because it's not suitable for this room. Oh, oh, tell it, tell it, tell it. Transformers Rescue Us on the home on Saturday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> she was lucky. 
it was, it was a wonderful, it was yeah, wonderful gig. Awesome. <laughs> I want this, what is this thing? Is this cubic thing with the it's little... It's a man! It's a man! It's a The nipple box! The nipple box! Okay, two things. Um, one for Dante. Um, I have been trying this entire con to get to your panel vibes and this every time. Um, my best friend, love of my life, adores you. Absolutely adores you. Has your tumble everything. I was wondering if you'd sign this for him. And the second question for all three of you. What was your favorite costume you've seen so far? Oh, good question. I'll find that while the answer's in the answer. Rufio? <laughs> yes, I actually saw one other day. I actually saw Rufio today. Ursula was pretty awesome. Yeah! Bad yeah. 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 props. No, pretty good. That was really I feel like I'm not good at knowing what they are. Yeah, we shall make. That's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> there was somebody on stilts, a girl on stilts who was really tall doing yeah. stuff. That was great with the shocker yeah. following her. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, there's like like neat costumes in here as well. Though I have to go with, and this is not because the actual design of the costume is wild or anything. Partly it's an affinity for the game. And another part is because of the amount of people dressed like this. And that's all of these. Uh, umbrella security keepers. They're not just walking around cosplaying. They actually are security, and they will kill you. I think it's pretty awesome. Live fire has been authorized. Oh God! Who gave that, Wesker? I didn't, but somebody else did. Hello Kitty. The Hello Kitty book. Uh, 
Brittany, this one's for you. Are you single? <laughs> My question is, like, because it's not in the book, and I'm not sure if anyone in this room knows it, but when you found out you were going to do the part of Wendy for Fairy Tale, how ecstatic were you, and were you a fan of Fairy Tale, or have you heard of it before you were given the part? I, I had not before then, but I was crazy ecstatic, because I know, like, I, I, I really like the artwork from what I've seen. I've seen a lot of the stuff. I had done bit parts and things like that um, in the first couple seasons. Um, but um, yeah, I was ecstatic, and it, it's a it's a character I don't ever get to play this sh like shy girl, and I don't especially get to play shy little girls. And um, it 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 was a lot of it's a lot of hard work to record it, but it is it's totally rewarding. And she is adorable. She is so cute. I can tell you used your original voice. You didn't need any voice differentiation. I can hear it when you talk. Oh yeah, I mean I pitch it up a little bit, but that's that's pretty much it. I just like pitch. Like, oh, I'm Wendy. <laughs> and I also have a question for Dante. Sure. Um, could you just like say one of your lines from Avatar as Zuko and then one as Iroh because I just love it? <laughs> oh God. Saying all my lines today as Zuko. You know, why did you say? I don't know. We want to hear what 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 words. Um, why am I so bad at being good? <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad at being good. You did it great. That was great. Why am I so bad at being good? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just said, I, I don't remember what I said as Iroh. Like, um, I'll be there. We'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what line you said as the Avatar? Uh, you said my like, Oh, yeah. Thanks what? for looking out for me, Iroh. Uh, another one I was actually thinking of was um, when you were talking to Cora, you said, My grandfather would respect the Avatar's decision, so I will too. My grandfather would respect the Avatar's decision, and I will too. Like directors do. What's the actors? They do the lines with them. Or the writers do. They like. He changed the word. The sexy guy in the cowboy hat in the back. Children, we love them dearly. Each and every role, nobody ever has to go. You know, I never go like, 
Well, that'll slave away in front of a hot microphone all day. <laughs> Better give me that bucket of money. <laughs> that stuff's heavy. I have the worst job ever. <laughs> oh, stuff. I played a small blob of corn party once. Congress once at a show called Sushi Pack. <coughs> I go, oh, how about that show? I how? studied Shakespeare, and what I got paid to do was to go, <laughs> That's our job. <laughs> <laughs> and off. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna like say the total. Like I, I have trouble che I, choosing between them. I, I really do love all of them. Um, you, you create all these characters. And they're not really comparable because they're all very different. And I love my job, and I love going to work, and it doesn't really matter what I'm doing in there. I'm always having a good time and happy to be there. Um, Chris Zuko. He's <laughs> <laughs> one of the greatest characters ever written. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the uh, well, Aside from the obvious ones, which I'm not going to go there, uh, instead I would go with like the very first video game I ever did, which would have been uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and doing The Master. Yeah, that was me! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Right, you, you wear the blue shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. First of all, I have a The answer is yes, as soon as we're done here, just outside the door. Uh, how's that? We, 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 we need to do it. Now that you're here, we'll go off the road. Yeah, we'll go off the road. Aww. Who was here last year? <laughs> what did you do? I, I already know you did. Beloved friend made me a Koga cosplay. <laughs> 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 That's right, a snog a scud and a gout. <laughs> the weirdest part of that was I was going, how the hell am I going to get from the hotel to here without it turning into a freak show? Me. I was playing. Too late. I walked through and... and all you know, like people were like, you know, just like going, she's the Koga. <laughs> just signed your boo. <laughs> I completely became part of the high. <laughs> I vanished into obscurity by becoming one of the board. Observation. <laughs> 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 and then I came in and screamed, and then it all went. <laughs> Something like that. So there, there's plenty that I would do, um, but some of them I would not. I'm not 
Chief House playing right now. This is a Scott McNeil, but I got it in the dealer's room. It's a onesie. It's awesome. I'm actually a tiny little Latvian woman. She zips up the back. Red thought it uh, white like thought it was a tomato. Oh, <laughs> um, I am an aspiring actress, and I've been going to school for like six years now for like acting. And um, I love all of you guys, and I love this. Um, I really want Dante to sign this because I absolutely love you as Prince Bishu, and I would like to get a picture with all of you. If that's possible. Hello. Well, what we have to do is, is because uh, he's uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, what is it? Like, I say yes to every point. Yes. You make a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we, we'll do it. Come, we'll be right here when we come to the stage. We'll do it. Okay. Um, uh, yes, in the turquoise. Yes, my love. This to like perform or do some uh, like uh, anything uh, acting uh, in the beginning and Dante I'm kind of embarrassed but um can you say something um like in Zuko's voice um just saying my name my name's Melanie <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Basically, we have taken a horrifying and debilitating mental illness. <laughs> We've already been stopped. We need help. You are called or be will answer. <laughs> oh yeah, God, it is, you, you can't not do it. Because if I wasn't doing in small padded rooms screaming, I'd be in a small padded room. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, the green uh, animal over there. Um, you see, I got this really awesome print from the artist Alley of Spirits. That was this is from Mad Science, and um, I was wondering. <coughs> I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> Later, I mean. Well, of course, I think we're running to the airport after this. But like you said, if you're if you're if you come up front right at the end here, absolutely. Yeah, and, um, I was wondering. If Thank <laughs> you. 
I assumed what it would do in France, but I had no idea for German. <laughs> no, I, I, had, I knew it was big, so yeah. So I didn't know. Um, I didn't know it last. That the the, the 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 love of it would last this long. So um, I'm just fingers crossed that the guests come back to Mass Effect Four because I'm the voice of all guests. So fingers crossed. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you know that you could jar a fart? And then the next thing I hear is, 
when it comes up. <laughs> there is a direct correlation. <laughs> Sometimes types are more comfortable than others. <laughs> the tight thing was, this is the thing about Rufio, like now it's like really cool, but back when I was a 15 year old kid and they were figuring out what Rufio was gonna look like, there was a bunch of different sketches. There was a sketch of me with like dreadlocks, there was like this, another sketch in like leather, and, and then we were doing all different kinds of things. And then one day, they come with these tights, <laughs> and these like ripped up jeans, and a t-shirt that shows my belly button. <laughs> and this Michael Jackson jacket, when Michael Jackson was not cool in the early 90s. And then they put this whole thing on, and then the hair came. And you're like, whoa. And then I'm in the back of my mind, like, I hope this is not the one. <laughs> this can't be what it's going to look like. You know what I'm saying? Because I just, it just wasn't that cool in the moment. And then you walk, you know, then they, they kick me under the set. And then, like, you got to, Stephen has to see this, right? I'm like, man, I hope Stephen will just try something else. And I walk around the corner of the friggin' never tree. And I remember it. It's like clear as day. I walk around, and then Stephen turns around, and he's like, Yes. <laughs> you gotta rock that midriff. You have to, if you're gonna cost like Rufio and you're not rocking the midriff, you're not doing it right. <laughs> time. We have time for one question apiece. Okay. All right, lightning round. We've done this before. Every hand that is up now, stay up. Every other hand that is not up now will not have a chance to go up. We're gonna do the fastest questions and answers in the entire world, starting right here. Go. And time's up. <laughs> <laughs> Gigi, how much fun did you have playing Western in the video game? <laughs> I was working. It was not fun at all. Thoughts on the original Grinch movie? What? Thoughts on the original Grinch movie, the animated one with the who's um, the awesome. Easiest thing ever made. Yeah. Awesome. You know who did the, you know, you know the song, You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> you know who sang that? Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger, Phil Wright. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. Is working behind the mic room or front of the camera? By the mic room? Something way more interesting, way more creative, way more, because I mean, I play so many weird things, you play them all at once, it's fast. Uh, on camera, you do a lot of 16 hour days where you work for like four seconds. It's behind the mic is more difficult. And more fun. Yeah. Uh, well, that's yeah. fine. My, my, it's all fun. It's all fun. Okay. Um, question for Dante. Um, since everyone's asking you to do voices of Zuko, can you do one of Stevon? Yes! Woo! Yeah. Talking about thank you. Try it, Nina. Quick question before we go. Who who did not make it to my lines that wanted to get something signed? Let me see. Uh, and now the hats. Can I have like you and come through you and the, the hood, you and the ears? You in the blue shirt, I have the last three of my limited things to this thing. Oh, oh, awesome. Alright, we'll keep going to questions. Okay, go. Cool. 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 As if I could, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, oh boy, what did I just say? <laughs> I feel like that's gonna get really hot after an hour. But yeah, I would. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah, uh, PC. Um I signed with the movie that Titanic two. Yeah, and um, yeah, do you, uh, do you go down with the ship? <laughs> <laughs> then, like, the, you go down? Do you go down? You know what? I'll go with down with ship? whatever. So, I will. That was the Titanic 2 in the game for the ship. I had to go down with it. And actually, I blew up before it went down. So, uh, so by the way, you really should look into your viewing habits. <laughs> yes. uh, what's the weirdest thing you've heard in autograph lines? Heard? Heard? Yeah. <laughs> by law to tell you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know if it's a herd, but uh, like five times today at my table they wanted my liaison to sign. <laughs> 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 Have you ever had a dream where you were one of your characters? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> 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 the game is where I am all of them. <laughs> Sometimes my characters have dreams that they're me. That was a good one. Okay, uh, let's go. Um, Brittany, can I please have a picture with you when this is over? Most definitely. Thank you. Richard. 
Yeah. Red shirt. Red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Who's all be cool? Like, I'm not even gonna do this. <laughs> Huh? Can you stream Chris on Western Boy? Correct! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Uh, Dante, do you think uh, Jake Long and uh, Zuko would work together in a firefight? Yeah, they would be the best tank dynamic duo of all time. Hello, everybody. Which mythological creature would you be and why? I am a mythological creature. <laughs> are mythological creatures. Therefore, I am and I am not. Jesus Christ. You are controversial. I want to be a pick a horse of God. Pick a horse of God. Awesome sandwich. A Jill sandwich. What kind of salad Brilliant. would you be? Flash shirt. Flash shirt. Yeah, thanks for the quick question. Well, it's um, <laughs> difficult about it. I, I mean, um, yeah, it's always a challenge. It's, it's acting and treating the character, you know, being part of the character and doing it really quickly, and really fast. acting with somebody else's lips. Yes. Who excited? I don't know what to think. I just got to tell you a quick story. Oh, never mind. Luigi! Luigi!